Drea, um, forgive me YouTube, it has been three years since my last video and ugh, five years since I've recorded regularly for YouTube. Well, the main focus of my YouTube channel was homeschooling and my youngest child is now one year post-graduating college. So it has been five years uh, since I have finished homeschooling. And so with that said, I just haven't had a ton to talk about on the homeschooling front. And I have um, kind of spent some time finding myself. Um, how does that go? Yeah. Spent a year uh, taking a real estate course and decided I didn't want to be a realtor. Um, I did spend some time traveling because my husband was stationed in Manhattan for his job for about 18 months. So we had a lovely apartment down there and I did make some quick little videos about it, but I deleted them. Um, we decided not to stay in New York because his parents were here where we live in Georgia. Um, and so we're back here. And um, while my background looks familiar to what it looked um, five years ago, um, I am in a new house. Um, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Anyway. I'd spent some time dabbling in real estate. I've spent a lot of time involved in community theater. I'm on the board of a community theater. It was kind of a natural progression because theater had a ton to do with our homeschooling experience. The arts had a ton to do with our homeschooling experience. And I just um, am happier around artists and artist types. So I've still been artisting. Um, this next year I'm taking a class in directing um, because I've been producing and I want to be a better producer you know for community theater shows and so that's what's going on there um, I've also been on Facebook to point recently where I just hit a Facebook wall so to speak especially with all the um, when all the news came out about how America was manipulated into voting for him. And, um, you know, through, but I can't remember any of the words. Um, I, you know, I lost my faith in that site. And it's kind of become a hostile place anyway. I go on there to catch the news. When I used to go on Google to catch the news or Yahoo to catch the news. I don't know if you know, but I used to be a content writer for several websites and that whole industry, the whole content writing industry as it was kind of crashed and burned with the Google Analytics thing, if you remember that, a while back. And so for me, and I forgot to mute my computer. So for me, excuse me while I mute my computer. I don't know how to mute my computer. That job ended and I stopped doing that anyway why am I back um, I got a text at 7 a.m. one morning after I had fallen asleep at 3 30 um, where someone close to me who's a very spiritual person um, and I trust them and I trust their spirituality Text message that said um, your gifting is homeschooling. You need to start a school. No, that's not what she said. She said, your gifting is education. You need to start a school. And I gave it some thought and I was like, my gifting is definitely education, um, period. And she was like, just a message from God. And I was like, okay. But um, I, I don't feel a desire to start a school. I feel a desire to start talking about homeschooling again. Um, I'm in a position now 
to talk about homeschooling at a level that is going to be very valuable to new uh, homeschoolers. While I was homeschooling, I did talk about homeschooling in general, but I didn't really let YouTubers or the general public follow um, our personal journey because I'm married to someone who is intensely um, private. Um, I'm intensely transparent. Um, and so if he's intensely private, then I have to honor that and allow our children <laughs> to also um, be private. <laughs> um, and so, you know, I kept our personal things on the down low, um, but strongly advocated homeschooling. So with that said, with that message I got, you know, it just came back to me strong that, you know, that is really where I need to be. That and the fact that I am horrified um, with the state of our country right now. Um, I feel terrorized with the plight of the black community. And I feel energized to me doing something about it is helping parents to see that the schools are not there to protect your children. They might be there to teach your children and there are children who thrive in that environment. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to what is best for your children or what is best for the classroom, the classroom is always going to win. And for black children, um, first to be punished, first to be disciplined, given the benefit of the doubt. I am tired, y'all. I'm tired of watching, um, and I'm going to start talking again. So, my notes are over here. Over here. Um, so, with that said, um, I am back. I go by Ms. Andrea on Facebook. Funny story, um, people were coming at me sideways after the election because I'm very verbal about how I am not fond of him. And um, they were like, oh, Andrea, blah, 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 Andrea that. And I was like, I know these people aren't calling me by my first name and telling me off. Um, and so I changed my handle to Miss Andrea. So if you're going to tell me off, you need to go ahead and address me correctly. Thank you very much. So anyway, um, I'm back. I promise. So um, please feel free to ask any questions you have for this old veteran homeschooler um, in the notes below. And I promise I will answer. And with that, talk to you later. Bye.